Hello and welcome back. So I want to talk to you today about the So Out of This World Challenge. It's organized by Lucy Cockrell of So Loco, the fantastic online fabric shop that I keep going on about. And it's a really wonderful challenge in three parts. Now you can take part in any one of these three or two or three of the challenges. It's entirely up to you. But the reason I'm telling you about it today is that I have been asked to be one of the team captains, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm team captain for mission number one. Mission number one is entitled To Infinity and Beyond. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The idea is that you are going to challenge yourself. You're going to take the plunge and do something that you've always wanted to do or you've been too scared to do. You're going to commit to do something that challenges you, makes you feel amazing when you complete it and do something totally and utterly out of your comfort zone. Now, those of you who've watched my YouTube for a while will know I'm all about building confidence in people through learning to sew. And so this challenge could not be more perfect for me. I am really, really chuffed that Lucy has picked me to be the team captain for it. So yes, you can do all of the challenges. Yes, you can dip in and do different challenges. But personally, I want you all to do challenge number one. My team is going to win. Not that there is any competition whatsoever, but if there was, my team is going to win. Go team one. So, <laughs> excitement over. Let me tell you about the other two challenges too so that you can see if you want to join in. Challenge number two, the team captain for that is Lucy herself. And it's called Tackling UFOs. So you may or may not have spotted, there's a little bit of a space theme going on here. So out of this world, to infinity and beyond, tackling UFOs. Now we all know UFOs are unfinished objects, not unidentified flying objects. But hey, if you've got some unidentified flying objects lurking in your cupboard, then by all means you can see if you can finish them. Now Lucy has confessed to me and in fact she's confessed it publicly on the world wide web that she has 28 ufos in her sewing box 28 lucy oh i think i have about three maybe four i don't know but I'm also going to possibly dip my toe in the water of this challenge too, personally, because I do have a couple of things I really should get finished and they are for the summer. So if you want to join Lucy's team, Team UFO, then dig out those UFOs and get sewing. Mission number three is a little bit out there. It is the Stargazer Challenge. And this challenge is headed up by Alice Irvine. She has a fantastic blog called The Skinted Sewist and you can follow her on Instagram too. And I will pop all the links down below for all three of our social media profiles so you can go and check them out, as well as the link to Lucy's blog, which tells you all about the challenges and how you can take part. Now I'm gonna read this to you because it's a little bit tricky to explain without it, but mission three is the Stargazer mission and it's titled For the Dreamers. The one, this one's for all creative folks. The challenge here is to make a supernova, I like that Lucy, garment inspired by outer space. Whether it's something simple like a dress or a star print poplin, a top in an ultraviolet jersey or a full on replica Princess Leia outfit. <laughs> Love it. The choice is yours, superstar, go forth and create. So if you're up for something super challenging, hey, you could mix my mission and you could mix Alice's mission together, mash them together and do one and three. And hey, if you've already started doing something that's a little bit challenging and space themed, then you must have been reading Lucy's mind because you're entitled to enter all three challenges. <laughs> So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes. The great thing is, is it's going to culminate on May the 4th, which you may or may not know is Star Wars Day. Hence why it is all space themed. So on May the 4th, that's the end date when you need to have completed your garment, whether it's for challenge one, two, three, or you've doubled or triple dipped, it doesn't matter. You're going to 
finish your challenge by May the 4th on Star Wars Day. On the website there is loads of images that you can use and all the details for the hashtag so that you can share your makes on social media, either Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, whatever your chosen um, method or channel. Share your makes, use the pictures to say that you're taking part. Make sure that you use the hashtag so out of this world and be sure to tag in your team captain, either myself, Lucy or Alice, two of us or all three of us. We all want to see what you're up to, what you're making and what you're creating. And be sure if you're on Instagram to follow the hashtag so out of this world because that way you can see what everybody else is up to too. I am so pleased that Lucy has asked me to be a captain. It's really lovely um, to be part of the sewing community and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you all make. So Go team one!